Hey guys, welcome back. How is everyone doing? It is so great to have you all here. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you some high-end DIY designer dupes using items from the Dollar Tree. And if you all are new, welcome. I am Olivia at Olivia's Romantic Home. I'd love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. You don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. So without further ado, go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. I found this really cool mug on the Mackenzie Childs website for $38, and I decided I could duplicate that using a Dollar Tree supplies and some creativity. So I'm starting out with this white mug that I picked up from Dollar Tree a couple of months ago, and I'm gonna use some painter's tape to begin taping it off. What I wanna do is tape some painter's stripes on here. So I'm just taping lines, and then I'm using the tape actually to measure with. So I'm adding a layer of tape and then another layer next to it and then I'm pulling one piece up and that's going to create the stripe. And then I'm going to go around the top of the cup um, with painter's tape to create the checkerboard pattern. So I will tell you that this DIY takes some patience. So put on some fun music, be patient with yourself. I actually had so much fun with this project. It was a little bit tedious, but I really don't have a whole lot else going on. So I wanted to share this with you guys. If you've always wanted to create something that was maybe a little bit more just time consuming, go ahead and take a shot at that now. So you can see I've gone all the way around the cup making the stripes. And now I'm gonna start at the top of the cup and I'm going to do the same pattern except for I'm just gonna move in a downward direction. take some black craft paint and this is just regular craft paint and I'm going to begin to paint the little spots on the cup that have not been taped off so basically just the little squares here and I did use two coats of craft paint just very carefully going in here and adding them I like having the sections taped off because I don't really think that I could freehand this entire thing. I don't have a super steady hand. I actually have neuropathy in my hands and feet. So sometimes that makes it hard for me to have a little bit more of a steady hand. So this was kind of an extra challenge for me. Once I had two coats on, I went ahead and began to peel the paint off. I am going to go back through and paint the remaining checkerboard part freehand so bear with me again this is the first time I've ever attempted this but I actually found myself having more fun than anticipated Now I'm just going in and I'm hand painting the rest of those checkerboards and I even added a little bit of gold paint to the top rim and kind of some gold flecks in true McKenzie Styles fashion. This is a hand painted piece. It is unique and I'm kind of proud of it. It was definitely, again, an exercise in patience, but I am really crushing on the final look of this. So fun and fabulous and really fun to step outside of my comfort zone and do something a little bit different. So here is how it looks mixed in with this kind of high-end decor, and it only cost me about a dollar and some paint. So have fun with that one. Now for the next DIY, I found another Mackenzie Childs um, inspiration piece. It was a candle. So I'm taking this candle. It's an LED candle that I found at the thrift store. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some Mod Podge to the outside of the candle. I printed off a checkerboard pattern. I just went to the internet. I googled checkerboard pattern. I printed it off and I'm going to add it to the outside of this candle. Now Dollar Tree does have LED candles if you happen to snag any of those or you can just use a regular candle with Ever you all have on hand. You could also even use a jar, um, but I'm just going over this with a layer of Mod Podge on the underneath and then on top of it. Mm -hmm. 
To finish this candle project off, I went ahead and printed out another sheet of the checkerboard pattern, and then I'm just Mod Podging the rest of it on there. I will tell you that I just used a regular printer and regular printer paper. Um, you guys just go for it, use what you have, have fun. And I did apply again a generous layer of Mod Podge over this because I do want it to be somewhat long lasting. I love the pops of black and white. I think this can really transition into any season. It can go summer with lemons, it can go into fall for Halloween, and it can even go for Christmas. So have fun with it and get creative. Now for the next DIY, I'm taking this thrift store candlestick and I'm adding this little Dollar Tree scrolly frame to the top of this. And I'm deciding that I want to have like kind of a fancy stand for my candle. I'm using what I have on hand and I'm just adding some Dollar Tree floral foam to the top. I decided that I wanted to create a springish summer greenery piece. So I'm just clipping off some greenery pieces. Again, this is greenery that I had on hand. These are Dollar Tree hydrangeas and then just some nice spring greenery. I believe I found it at Michael's or maybe Walmart, um, but I'm clipping them off fairly short because I want the greenery piece to kind of spill over but not be too long. Now how fun and fabulous is this looking? Oh my goodness, I had so much fun creating this. So I'm just adding in some more little bits of greenery. I love the pops of lime against the black and white. I really feel like this is my new color, at least for this week right now. You guys know I love to share with you all so many different types of decor looks. And I've always thought Mackenzie Childs was just super fun and different and creative. And so I thought, well, let's do some inspired pieces. I did end up going ahead and adding a little bow over here to the side. This was with some ribbon with stripes and then just kind of some Paris inspired ribbon along with some burlap. It's that mesh burlap. Um, I found that at burlapfabric.com but I just dug into my stash for this one and of course I'm dovetailing my ends and adding a little tail here. Here is how it came out. How fun and oh my goodness I really feel like this looks very high-end and boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. For the next DIY, I'm gonna take these little Dollar Tree garden planters, and these are just two little clay pots that I had painted white. It was from another DIY, but I'm repurposing it and reusing it. I'm using the painter's tape again because I wanna create some stripes down these pots. Um, I've seen some really neat black and white pots, and I'm gonna do a mini version. I do wanna do some larger ones, but I wanted to try my hand at how this was gonna work. So I went ahead and used some black craft paint and used that to create these stripes. I decided to add some gold paint after I painted my stripes. I also painted the top part of my little planter with a black rim. Again, I'm going for more of a high-end kind of boutique look, kind of Mackenzie Childs inspired. Um, so here it is without the gold, and then you guys saw it with the gold. I ended up keeping it with the gold. I just found that to be a little bit more glam and fabulous, um, but this could go either way, and you could even incorporate this into kind of some um, 
more chic modern farmhouse look, I added in some greenery, just some little lamb's ear that I found at Walmart, and then some other greenery. I thought it looked really great in this little two-tier scalloped edge tray. Again, I found that at Target Dollar Spot. So for the next DIY, I want to create a beautiful vase. Now this Mackenzie Childs inspired vase was originally a hundred dollars. I have this Dollar Tree vase that I had originally painted white for this session of DIYs, and then I changed my mind at the last minute and decided to print out some more of that checkerboard pattern. I'm adding Mod Podge to the back of the checkerboard, and then I'm just going to lay that on top of my vase. This was going to be a lot easier. My original plan was to paint this white and then hand paint the checkerboard pattern, but after how long it took for me to do the cup, I decided that maybe it would be a quicker and easier idea for me to just go ahead and Mod Podge this together. So depending upon how much time you had, you could either hand paint the checkerboards or you could cheat like me and go ahead and Mod Podge them to the vase. Now this is a Dollar Tree vase and I just printed out some checkerboard pattern and I'm Mod Podging it to this little vase. So we had the $100 vase, which is amazing and I completely respect the artist and the artistry but we're doing a dupe on this and so I thought it would just be fun to share with you guys if you cannot afford the $100 vase or you just want to play around and create something and see if you want to incorporate some black and white into your decor like me. I don't usually do a whole lot of black and white but for some reason I'm just really crushing on this look right now. So I was able to get one whole section done and then I did print out another section of the black and white checkerboard and then needed to add that again with the Mod Podge and then a heavy layer of glue over that. So I went ahead and just popped some white Dollar Tree flowers into this vase and here is how it has all come together. I love this little gratitude is the best attitude. I found that last year at Dollar Tree, but it is such a wonderful reminder for me just to be grateful for every moment and every day. As always, I ask that you comment and let me know which DIY was your favorite. Do you all decorate with, right, with black and whites? I would love to hear your thoughts on this look. I love you and I'm so thankful, honored, and blessed that y'all are here. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and an honor to have you all here and watch my video. I have been doing so much crafting and decorating lately, so definitely stay tuned. I have so many ideas to share with you all. And if you're new, it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you. It's totally free. Click the subscribe button. There's a little bell next to it that will update you every time I post a new video. You don't want to miss out. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I share condensed DIY videos and I have a group page you guys can join if you want to socialize with other crafty decor friends. It's totally free over there. Request to join. I'll approve your request and you can start posting photos of your home decor and your DIY projects. I love to see what you guys are up to. I also have Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. Follow me over there. I do behind the scenes sneak peeks on my story as well as a good morning coffee with you all every morning. I love you all to the moon and back. I cannot wait for the next video. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Until then, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.